In Creo Parametric, there is an unstamp edges command in sheet metal mode, and there are a bunch of caveats about using this. Let me explain the situation. Here I have a sheet metal part. If you take a look at the bottom of my model tree, I have some chamfers in the round and a couple more chamfers in here. I know it's a little hard to see. They're highlighted in green against a light green background. But in a sheet metal part, you can stamp different edges in order to create this geometry. In other words, you're pressing against the material and it is redistributing itself. If you want to prepare the model to be flattened, you can unstamp these edges that were stamped. If I go to the editing drop down menu, here is the unstamp edge command. And I want to caution you that when you click on this command, it's going to bring up the old Pro Engineer interface from 2001 and earlier. This one has not been updated. I'll touch on a reason why that might be the case in a moment. But if you take a look in the model dialog box, there is only one element, the edge tree. And then in the menu manager, you can choose to flatten all or flatten selected. You probably don't want to choose flatten all. I can guarantee you it's almost always going to fail. But here we have the flatten selected command. And I'm going to show you one situation regarding it. Let me choose flat and selected. I'm going to grab an edge here from the round. You'll notice the actual surface itself is being highlighted in a purple color. Let me click OK, done refs, done, and then click the OK button. And now we have the unstamped edge feature in the model tree. And the round is no longer in here. So then I could do a flat pattern or maybe an unbend all after this in order to show the blank that would be used in order to form this part. So there you see one situation in which it did actually work. But now I want to get into the caveats about this command. And I'm going to do it again, but I'm going to perform a measurement first. Let me go to the analysis command. And I'm going to measure the length of an edge. I'm going to measure this edge and it tells me right now the length is 90 millimeters. All right, keep that number in your head, 90 millimeters. I will close out of the dialog box. Now let's go back to the sheet metal tab, editing, unstamp edge. And I'm going to try to pick the edge associated with that. Oops, let me choose first. I need to flatten selected. Now I can pick the edge and it highlights the surface in purple. Okay, done refs, done, and okay. Yeah, you can see that the old Pro Engineer interface had a little to be desired. So now I have unstamped the edge. Let's go to the analysis tab again, and then measure a length. I'm gonna pick this edge length, and you'll notice that the length is now 88.75 because the unstamped edge command tries to take conservation of mass into account. In other words, before this was pressed, well, or stamped, we needed to have the material move around afterwards. And so you would actually need a shorter edge length prior to the stamping than after the stamping. So that's why the curve length is shorter. Let me close out and I'm going to edit definition of the unstamped edge command for a moment. Let's double click on the element. And in here, you also have commands to fix the volume dimension or modify the volume. So be aware that you do have options in here if you want to make changes to the resulting volume that will be calculated. Honestly, I don't know the math behind it, but just be aware that there are options that you have within here for changing the volume calculation. All right, let's cancel out and I will click yes. And I just want to show you that there are a number of situations in which the unstamped edges will not work. Let me go to the editing overflow, unstamped edge, and I threw some chamfers on some round edges over here. If I go to flat and select it and try to pick, it's not even registering the ones that I put onto these holes. So it's not going to work for all different chamfers. Let me pick this edge, and it does highlight that one surface. 
If I click OK and done refs and done and then OK, it'll flatten that one, but you'll notice that it doesn't look too nice in there. I'm just going to right click on the unstamp edge command and delete it. Now let's take a look at what happens if I try to pick all four edges. If I go to editing, unstamp edge, flatten selected, and I'm going to pick one. Let me hold down the control key and pick two. Let me pick three and pick four. I got all the four edges around there. Let me rotate the model so that you can see the edges that I selected and then click OK and done refs and then done and then OK. Hey, feature failed to regenerate. You can click OK to create a failed feature or cancel to return to the tool. So you'll probably see this a lot depending on the edges that you select for this feature because sometimes you're just not going to be able to readjust the geometry in order to conserve the available mass but let me cancel out of here and then cancel out of there so again this is a bit of an outdated command that's why it's got the old interface and also one thing i always recommend to people if you're not going to be bending the sheet metal yourself leave this to the professionals. I recommend providing your model to the professionals in the fully formed state and then let them figure out the fully flat state based on their knowledge of the materials and the way that their particular machines for bending and stamping work. So again, that's the old command. It's there in the interface in case you want to use it.